What's going on guys, it's Smart Lifestyle, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite paint jobs for the Vapid Contender. Now the best part about all these paint jobs is none of them are modded, so you're not going to have to deal with buying the crew color and changing it up and everything like that. So I decided to make this as simple as I can for you guys and try to keep it cheap because everyone is probably out of money from the Cunning Stunts DLC already. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So starting us off with the first one is a Moss Brown with a Cream Pearlescent. Now, I really think this color is very good for this truck. It gives it a nice outdoors and foresty feeling. So, it kind of blends in with the surroundings, which I really like. And it makes this truck kind of pop out. It looks really good on this truck. So, this was my first one. By the way, these aren't in any particular order. It's just an order that I recorded them in. So, moving on into number two, we have a straw brown with a moss brown pearlescent. Now, this one is a little bit different. It's almost like a tan. It's like a desert tan kind of but it's a little bit different and I really like how it stands out because it doesn't have that matte finish I was thinking about throwing in a matte desert tan in this video but I decided not to I think this does justice for the tan colors it really blends in like I said with the surroundings just like all these vehicle colors are probably gonna look there's the only one at the very end of this video that is a little bit different but most of these blend in with the surroundings and it looks really good in the nature of Blaine County and Sandy Shores so moving on into the third one we have a dark steel with a cream pearlescent I don't know why but with a lot of these colors the cream or ice white pearlescent really makes it stand out I like some of the browns especially for this truck but this one is a dark steel with a cream pearlescent and all these colors are are metallic so you don't have to do the pearlescent glitch so I think this looks really great especially with the black rims like I said in my video the other day I kept the stock rims we'll see I might change them up but I like how they look on the truck now a little bit of a complaint about this truck while I'm here is I wish the wheels were a little bit bigger that would just sell this truck to me so much more but it still looks like an amazing truck and especially with this paint job on it I really love it so moving on into number four we have a rolled steel with a straw pearlescent I really love this color I love every single time I get like a supercar I always put like a matte gray with a straw pearlescent on it and I threw it on this truck and it is not a matte gray it is a metallic gray it is a metallic rolled steel and it actually looks pretty pretty good on this truck and I really like it it goes very well with the black rims and the tinted windows and this is definitely probably another paint job I will use in the future moving into the fifth and final paint job we have a metallic blue with a ultra blue pearlescent now I love this color sadly the Sun was setting in the video and I really did not want to wait until the morning to show you guys this paint job so I decided why not but especially in the daytime it looks amazing at nighttime you know it's just kind of a, like a dark color but during the daytime I think it really goes good with this truck especially with the black rims if you have black rims and it really gives it that Toyota Tundra look so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I was actually thinking about for every new car that comes out from now on I might do a top five paint jobs for it just so you guys could get a little bit of an idea and maybe some new paint jobs to put on your vehicles let me know if you like that idea also I might be doing another one of these videos but on modded paint jobs I just wanted to keep this video pretty simple and not really have you guys having to go on the Rockstar website and changing your crew color and paying 25 grand for a different color which is kind of a pain in my opinion and I really do not like changing my crew color that often but it is doable so if you guys want to see that video I will post it and I have some colors in mind maybe that don't fit on this truck but definitely ones that fit on the ETR one but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by August 17th right when I go back to school also I will be posting videos while I'm in school so don't worry about that my channel isn't going anywhere also my Q&A is coming up I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to ask me any more questions before I do it there's only about two or three more days so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and I'll see you guys in my next video